Hey there, what's up everybody? This is Brandy J, voice to be reckoned with. How are you doing? You know, I ask that regularly. <clears throat> and I truly, truly mean it. But I know in this, these times right now, ugh, I can just imagine oh, what people are thinking. You know, especially the ones that are are really being hit right now. And when I say that, <clears throat> I mean health-wise, people that have contracted corona, dealing with it, hoping to make it through. Family members, you know, you know, watching this happen and actually losing their loved ones. You know, can you imagine that, that this virus just comes and just boom, you know? And that's, that's, you know, where my heart and my head is right now. You know, a lot of, you know, people's heads are surfaced around the financial hit and what's to come. And, you know, <clears throat> first things first, without all this, without all the, the mayhem of money and, you know, all the, the things that drive us damn near crazy sometimes, you know, to try to to chase or to do or to be we're still human and if we are not well healthy and a living then those things won't even matter to me first thing first should just be the concern of everyone's livelihood you know and for most that comes with the financial get it got it good but where's the big outpour for the lives that are being affected? The lives that are being lost. You know? The world is so caught up in financial because that's the way society has created. That's the way the world has been created and designed for us to be controlled by those things because we need them to survive, right? But what about just humanity, being a human being, a living individual, you know, people are worried, I know, because it's it's hard, it gets rough and tough already as it is, but the thing about it is, a whole lot more people are going to be going through this that you know of than you didn't know of before, so these things are going to have to be addressed and all we can do is, is is hope for the best, pray, if that's what you, you know what I mean, you, you do. I know I don't. That's fine. But the point is, is if it's out of our control at some point, the mental part, you know what I mean? We've got to, you know, step back, take this time that we do have. And reevaluate and see what what is what where where did we you know what I mean get to know yourself, get a plan in place because we don't know what the the government and you know and everything that's going on with the corona is going to bring our way. We can have a plan and boom it's, <laughs> that's not happening. I mean we do that on a daily basis anyway we 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 make plans and and stuff and and it, you know, or we think things are going to go, you know, and a lot of times it doesn't, but we don't really point in on that, right? We just keep it pushing, we keep it moving. And this is the thing. You can have a situation, you can have an issue, you can have a problem. And if you go into it thinking in a different mindset, do you know that that problem won't look like it did before? If it was a, a more of a stressful, chaotic type of mindset, nerves and stuff, versus, okay, this is what it is. These are the positive, you know what I mean? If you just, because I'm telling you, these things mentally, we will build up ourselves. And if we realize, like, well, this is, if I, the situation is still here, if I freak out, and if I don't, so let me 
not freak out, and then it'll be the same problem, but it won't seem as crazy as it was before. Your thinking is just differently. And now you're thinking actually clearly, and you're able to go at it in a more calmer and and more of a a clear-minded and positive way. You know what I mean? You can take it on. Think straight. Because when you're all nervous and stressed, you're not thinking straight. Everything's just coming at you like, oh my goodness. And no matter what, it's still there when you, when we attack those problems like that. We think that's the norm. No, no, but you don't understand. And it's like, yeah, I understand because I've been there too. But I also understand that you freaking out is not going to change it. Hmm. Let's so go ahead and cut yourself a little break because you're still going to have to deal with it. So, why well, don't you just lessen the blow a little bit? <laughs> if, if this makes sense to you at all. You know, cause some people are just prone to freaking out about stuff. Trust me, I know. Kind of a worry word and anxious, anxiety, all that. And that's why I'm speaking of it. Because I know. And I know that when you go into things in a positive, more of a positive light, and it's very much possible. You know, the world, society has created this, this... But people just think that if you're not freaking out about something or or there's no way you can be positive about something like that or that's stupid. And it's like, well, then, ooh, someone's got the Debbie down and the negative Nancy going on a little stronger than others. OK, but don't worry. It could be fixed. Just unteach yourself that negative thinking process because it's just a waste. <clears throat> It's a big old waste. It doesn't change the situation. You change the situation. So why not give yourself a fighting chance? In a, a less, it's a practice, I, I, I must say, you know, but it's a very great start. Great suggestion here, I'm just saying. But anyways, back to what I was saying. We're all here facing this and I don't know if you find any comfort in that. But you know, a lot of times things have been broken down in ways where people, it separates people. This here. Some is bringing has brought a lot of people together. This it affects so many. If that makes sense to you at all, this is a whole nation issue. And granted, you know things work out better for others, and there's a grand scheme to things, you know, and. There's the person over there that's going to, you know what I mean? People, you know, got their things about who, who's in on something or, or you know what I mean? Or it's still going to be harder for, you know what I mean? Those things are, the, but the, th- the thinking process doesn't have to be that way. Like self-defeat, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's like me, 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 or them, that or Marsha, 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 or any of that. Some will have it harder. That's how life has always been. But I'm telling you right now, we sitting our asses down, think about how we can boost it up and, and, and make it better. But I'm telling you what you have access to right now is it's always been and it's always going to be something that gives us a step ahead and forward if we use it correctly and teach our kids how to. It's the internet. I mean, you could be home right now. Your kids could be home right now becoming damn near geniuses if they wanted to. They got the time to educate themselves with things they didn't know before. Not with just the curriculum and, and you know what I mean, what, what's, you know, on the table, you know, so they can get there, you know. But life in general, I'm talking down to nitty gritty where, you know what I mean, <sighs> create apps. You like video games? Create an app. What do, what do you like to do? You know, make something, uh, learn more about something, experiment, do, it depends on what you love. 
You know, if you like chemistry, it depends on what you like. Don't try to feed yourself information about some if you don't even like it, it's boring because you're not going to have any passion in it. But knowledge is good. So if it benefits, then go ahead and, and get some of that. But make this count. Like, don't come out of this or your kids come out of this the same or even a little bit more off, but even stronger mentally. Off, at least obviously, of course, physically and health wise, we want to keep that in mind. You know, just because we're at home now, it doesn't mean okay, oh, well, all you know is no, you probably got we got to be a little more healthier than we were before. People ain't aren't getting out like they used to and moving like they used. If you want to show your support to the nation during this time of the coronavirus, well, then Anchor is a great way to do that. Using the creation tools that allow you to record and edit from your phone and computer is very easy to do. Anchor will distribute your podcast and you'll be heard on Spotify, Google Cast, so many different platforms. You don't have to do a thing. Anchor will do that for you. Speaking for what you stand for, Use your podcast to let the nation know that your support is there and that you care. Anchor is a free app, and you can find it right on Google Play Store. Or go to your web browser and put in anchor.fm. Your podcast can make a difference right here an anchor and it's free so don't forget anchor go and download it now so let's go ahead and take this time that we have been given because the world and society has us moving so fast at times that we don't even stop to think you know what i mean what's what's really going on you know with yourself because we're not robots you got to stop and remember that you're a human and that it ain't all going to be over because you got to take several seats and, and not really know what's to come what you do is you take that as a sign you take it as a blessing and you get to know yourself a lot better you get in tune with your family with your kids now more, I won't even say now more than ever because that's always been something that always should be at the, at the top. Even when we get consumed by work, we've got to check in with our kids. We've got to give them that time. But since we have it now, give it to them more than ever. Do that now. Don't waste it. Do not waste it. Have those conversations. Build a unit. Make it stronger. If you have issues with you know with your children or behavior children and things the best thing for that is a parent you as a parent you know what I mean are, are more effective than anything that a doctor you know what I mean or the pills they throw at you and say give it to a man no you the parent the family this is an opportunity to strengthen your family. You are, you've been housed. You've been sat down. <laughs> Good Lord probably said, sit down, people. Because you're moving too fast and you're not getting this. You're not, you're not checking in. You're not, you're going to miss out. And then when it's all done, then what is it for? You know? Get your kids ready for the world. Look what's going on now. We don't have to just do the common core and what they learn in school to get them by so they can move along at the at the <clears throat> you know, at the correct time they should be, you know, their with their education and, and things. Get to talking to them about debt and tax and credit. So they don't make the same mistakes. So they'll be prepared because they're not doing it in the schools. I could tell you that much. They're not. They're not doing any type of math. 
capacity. I mean, come on. Let's prepare them. Go ahead and do that for them. And if you don't know much about it, get up on the internet together and teach each other. Teach yourself so you can teach your kids. Do it together. You know? I'm going to be doing many, many more of these subjects and topics. You know, as people are are home more and trying to figure out what's going on, what to do, or or maybe just a reminder to say, hey, you've got a blessing in you. You don't even know it right now because you're so worried about what's going on and what's to come. That whatever's to come is gonna come. It's always been that way. Whatever's gonna come, just look, shit just came. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But your kids, your family, that's priceless. And to come out of this even stronger and know that you took this time to, to, to get to know yourself, to get to know your family, get to know your child better, and to and put these values in them that have been lost so long ago from loving themselves, taking care of themselves, respecting themselves, respecting others, being financially smart, being more healthy, why school is important, why things matter, because now, you know, because don't just let it be like, well, you're home until this shit's over with, Mm -mm, you're the number one teacher, you was always the number one teacher. As far as education-wise, use this time to 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 learn and go you can go online and 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 youtube or whatever get your way through some of these things that you have to help your child with with school work and stuff and you could be that teacher you know what i mean not just putting them online and doing you know with the best that we can what we put out here during this time but you too this can make or break you don't let this all just be a waste take the time and make it count I promise you you won't regret it if you don't have kids you don't have family is it, what is it that you're passionate about what is it that you need to make you whole what has been missing what is something because there's always something that you can do because everybody is priceless everybody deserves to treat themselves in a way where what can I do for me to make me better to help in this situation so that you don't be as helpless as you are now as we are now we, we have no control over this right now you know but a lot of us could have been a lot better off if we would have been better off like I tell my son if you knew better you would do better you know that's what he said in general, if we knew better, we do better. Let's help our kids do better. Let's help ourselves do better. Our families do better. Let's have some fun time with our kids and hey, get down as being a kid. You know? And if you're a loner and you're, you're not really with many, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to know, start a podcast. I'll help you. You know what I mean? And... and do what, do what you dream, like what you've wanted to do, minus the going out side, you know? But it's, it's, it's an opportunity for everybody to get ready and to get better mentally and physically, okay? Don't forget, you know, we got to go even, you know what I mean? Rem- just stay very mindful of how we take care of ourselves and our bodies and because those things that was happening before could still happen. You could still get, you know what I mean, diabetes and stuff like that if you eat improperly, you know, not properly and heart problems and stuff. And let me tell you right now, this is like the time, you know, to, to have these things occur with this virus going on. You've got to think, you got to do better. Do better, we do better. So come on now, people, let's do this. We're very resilient people. Let's wake up and remember. Okay? Let's wake up and remember. We get consumed by society and society's ways. 
and we get kind of lazy and we just rely on everything. That's the era that our kids are in these days. So we've got to wake them up. We're going to get in there and, and get to cooking. Teach them some stuff. Do some baking. Do this. Do that. Show them. I, man, I, I take it back down to, you know, because what, just say what if or something occurs where, you know, and it does happen where there's no water or, or, or there is water, but there's certain things you can't do. You know what I mean? Just taking care of yourself and washing clothes. Teach them how to wash clothes. Teach them how to wash them suckers by hand, too, if they ever have to, so they don't be looking around like boo-boo the fool if the world or if their situation ever came to that. You got to give them all the skills that you can to survive, to be independent, and to be able to count on themselves to know that they can take care of themselves in damn near any situation. You know what I mean? All kids have to teach you know CPR. I'm talking about down to the nitty gritty. How to handle themselves if in a situation of disaster. Have you ever, anybody thought about that? If it's the kid that's okay and it's the adult that's not, or the adult's not, you gotta teach children what to do in an emergency. Give them them life. Give it full rounds, the whole shebang as much as you can. You don't have to be like, get away and like, rah, rah, rah. make it enjoyful. Do things, relax when we have these topics or little learning projects. You know what I mean? You can have a good time. Because I tell you right now, kids like to have fun. So, and they're digging the fact that they're home, but they got to get a little antsy. Okay? Got to keep them occupied, but at the same time, learning. Sometimes you got to trick them too. Make them think they're not learning, but they are. Trust me, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm in the education field, so, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And um, number one is always hug them and hold them, tell them you love them. That's with all your family or your friends. If you're in the house with them, then you know what I mean. Call somebody, tell them you love them. You know, just we've let, we as a society have taken things. The simple thing, not even, I wouldn't even call it simple, as going out and taking a walk, fresh air, walking to the store. People are like, I ain't walking to the store, I'm in my car. I'm late. Uh, uh. People are like, you know, but you now, you know, you love to walk to the store, wouldn't you? <laughs> but anywho, you know, I'm crazy. But I definitely will be doing more of these. So, guys, thank you for listening, and my heart and my love is with you all. And uh, don't stop. You know, stay mentally strong. You can do it. You're capable. You will be able to handle it. Just got to remind yourself and let yourself know that. All right, guys, I'm signing off. This is Brandy J, a voice to be reckoned with. And you know I'll be back soon, sooner than you think. Peace. Hello there. This is Brandy J. And I just wanted to hit you up with a, a cool activity you can possibly do during uh, one of your days at home with the kids. So um, try this. And it might not fit for everybody, but I think it's pretty cool. How about you allow your kids to make a fun activity out of rearranging or creating or designing their room? But what you do is, in the learning aspect of it, if you have more than one, you give them all jobs. One person might be the interior, the decorator. You have the moving people. You have, um, you know, the person that, you get where I'm going with this? You just make it a fun time for them. Something to do, something to keep the creative juices going. You never want to... I always want to make sure that we keep kids with their creativity and to to think, you know what I mean? And to, because that's what they thrive off of anyway. Make things exciting for them. They'll grasp it more and they'll learn it and they'll actually go to like it. This I know. You know? So yeah, let them do a cool project with their room because they're cleaning it but at the same time. Now it's kind of like a business and somebody is the owner, there's a person that deals with the financial, there's a person that's the designer, 
that makes the decisions, the movers, you know what I mean? And everybody has to hold accountability. And then make it to where there's some kind of prize or something. Something, you know what I mean? If there is no prize or a piece or something that you guys do where they can enjoy, you know, what they've just done, you know, give them kudos for it. You know what I mean? Tell you how exciting it is. Make it real, you know, like down to the nitty gritty. Make the money, make the pay. Have a good time. Why not? What else are you freaking doing? <laughs> you know, I had to. I had to. But no, seriously. So just wanted to throw that out there. Just keep it fresh. Keep it live. Keep it exciting. Keep it fun for them. We have to use what we have, our mind state, our mental. You know what I mean? That's not gone yet for most, I, I would say. So come on. Especially if the kids are home with us, we have to, you know. So uh, thank you for listening. And uh, I'll have some more cool activities on a regular basis. Thank you. Bye. Hello, it's Brandy J, a voice to be reckoned with. I just wanted to let uh, my listeners know that my show, um, Brandy J Presents uh, Voices of the Future, first episode will be airing very shortly here. Yes, 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 with our lovely host, Mia Sanchez. Yes, Mia S is all set, and I'm just so excited. I'm excited for her. I'm excited for her parents. I'm I'm excited for the world, you know? Such an awesome young lady. But guess what, too? I also have a podcast called This Is Your Place. And this is designed for kids. And this is a show where kids can come and it's all things that has to do with kids you know on the kids level you know from games learning I mean just you name it it's it's it, it's it's a breather but still keeping the fresh mind you know for for kids during this time during this this corona um, outbreak that seems like it might be going on for a long time but that's why you know as a nation we come together and we do these things for all of us for a nation for all the kids and so that's why I'm at with this um, that one will be <clears throat> coming very shortly too very very shortly but uh, Brandy J presents voices of the future is definitely going to be hitting the airwaves this evening and I definitely will do another update before that but just you know keep your your ears and your eyes open and I'll have some more information to go along with that you know that maybe you know you, you would like your child to be able to participate in voices of the future too but that I'll be with more information and with my contact and stuff too so we could talk but um, for sure, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to hear and just know my show. You remember, voice, a voice to be reckoned with, a voice for many, and a voice of many. This is not just here for me. This is for all. You know what I mean? My voice, I can use for others. And... I can also be that place where someone else can come and use their voice. So always remember that. You know, if you have an idea, I still put that out there. You want to come on the show, you know, you hit me up and you let me know if you have a question or anything like that. You know what to do. Brandy Singleton 512 at gmail.com. And also, Brandy Singleton, I uh, have my Facebook. Yes, yeah, Brandy Singleton. And you hit my messenger. I have a page of voice we reckon with. Um, also a page uh, stopping the pain. That's for the bullying campaign that we'll be talking about more. Cause just because we're sitting down home, kids are at home, doesn't mean that that goes away. Um, that that's still something that needs to you know be addressed. And um, yeah, and so uh, 
definitely 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 keep checking me out don't go too far and uh I'll have more for you. And I just appreciate you all. And I hope you and your families are all doing well. Thank you so much. Brandy J is a voice to be reckoned with. 2020. It ain't over, baby. Peace. <laughs>